Alright, so here we have the latest motor from Gepar C, Speedex. This one is the GEP GR2207.5. And these motors come in 4 kV choices 1700 kV, 1920, 2400, and 2750. So they pretty much covered. Uh, the whole range uh, of KV for the different voltages so mainly for 5 inch props uh, 4S to 6S so this was sent by the FRC factory so thank you very much for sending it comes in the standard box uh, well packaged uh, in a bag there and they include the usual prop nut and some mounting screws which are nicely labeled for five and four millimeter thick arms seven mil and eight mil so here's the motor nice color scheme it's kind of like a gunmetal titanium kind of color with a sort of gold yellowish accent cool looking so there it is 4s freestyle so 2207.5 that's been the trend lately they're going to taller motors uh, so looking for more power, more control. So this one comes in the usual configuration that we're used to seeing. Bare bottom, a single piece shaft uh, with shaft retaining screw here. And the usual bits, 7075 aluminum and 52 magnets. Nice uh, windings as you can see there. So let's see what it weighs with about 150 millimeters of wire uh, this is 20 gauge wire so pretty standard so we'll see what it weighs with that much wire so that comes in at 34.3 uh, so it's to be expected it's a taller stator uh, so this is 300 millimeters of 20 cage wire. Let's see what it weighs. It's about 2.3 grams. So we'll tear that and uh, uh, we'll see now what the motor weighs with an equivalent 50 millimeters worth of wire which is what I usually do for most uh, motors. Uh, so that's about 31.9, 32 grams. So considering the tall stator 22 07.5 almost 2208 uh, uh, 32 grams is uh, not too bad so that's pretty good so we'll see how easy it is to loosen this screw right here and a uh, good thing they included a nice uh, screw or larger driver it's not one of those 1.5 millimeter uh, this one's a 2 millimeter driver that fits in there so th uh, that makes it uh, quite a lot easier to um, to loosen and tighten so so seems uh, they do have some kind of locking uh, material there thread lock or something uh, yeah that's that white kind of blue kind of thread lock uh, so there it is so let's see how easy it is to Pop that out. Sometimes these are pretty tight. Yeah, this one's this one's kind of tight, so that's gonna take some doing to remove. Uh, so I have to use my usual technique. Uh, just use a couple of screws there and use this uh, needle nose and just kind of apply pressure there. Kind of like use use this one as a lever and uh, use the shaft retaining screw to push it in so that usually works yeah there we go so that came off alright so we're gonna look at it on the uh, magnifying glass and see some details on this motor. Alright, so here's a close-up view of the bell and shaft. Uh, the shaft is 
partially hollow it's not all the way through so that's a little bit unusual these days most uh, high-end motors are hollow all the way through but uh, it's a uh, fairly uh, thick shaft at four millimeters so should be strong enough uh, so pretty nice looking and uh, uh, magnets are quite beefy as you can see there's not much gap in between magnets and I do believe there's a uh, uh, there's a retaining uh, ring there's a lip right there uh, so that'll help keep the magnets in place as well as give the uh, bell uh, a little bit more strength and so here's the stator um, bearings are supposed to be ISC Japanese bearings is what they're advertised but uh, there's no name brand given at the GEPRC website and in traditional way from GEPRC the windings are quite neat as you can see there uh, almost perfect windings uh, none of the wires cross so that's pretty nice to look at and there's the stator so let's uh, uh, let's just get a quick measurement here just to see uh, so yeah uh, 7.5 and pretty thin laminations for sure those are point two millimeters uh, at least Uh, so there you see the um, the base is uh, pretty much standard uh, looks like uh, is this I think it's 16 by 16 I think it is let's see uh, 16 by yes yeah, 16 by 16 so pretty nice looking motor overall um, so we'll put it on the uh, thrust stand and see what it can do. Uh, this one's the 2400, so main focus is on 4S. Uh, so what they're saying is uh, uh, the 1750 and 2400 are for freestyle, and the 1950 and 2750 is for race. Uh, for a race setup, so so all right, uh, put it back carefully. Try not to let it slam. So there it goes. Uh, some of the uh, thread lock I think had overspilled uh, on the between the shaft and the bearing, so that kind of made it difficult to uh, pull out. All right, uh, so that's the teardown of this motor. Let's see what it can do.
right, so here we have the thrust test results for the GEP RC GR2207.5 2400 kV motor. And this one actually measure slightly higher, 2500 kV, as measured by my thrust stand. Uh, so went ahead and tested the usual props, 3S through 5S. The results are pretty much in line with what is expected for this size motor, 2207 to 2207.5, 2500 kV. Uh, so pretty close to this, the 2207 motor, 2400 kV, usual props. Uh, 4S, 5S, and still including the 3S for those people that like to use these motors for fixed wind aircraft. So overall, a good performer, I think. A good uh, offering from GEPRC. Hopefully, it turns out to be a reliable motor and durable as well. So uh, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching and until the next one.